Hello and welcome to Channel's Book Club. I am Olakunle Kasumo. Let's get today's show rolling with the Nigeria Prize for Literature. Every year, writers in Nigeria strive to win it, but only one ends up with a $100,000 prize. This year, 11 writers have been shortlisted from the numerous entries, and they are going head-to-head -to, -head to qualify for the last three spots. An event was recently organized for them. Here's a report. The Nigeria Prize for Literature is Africa's biggest cash prize award for a literary competition with $100,000 going to its winner annually. Every year, the Committee of Relevant Art and the Nigeria Liquefied and Natural Gas Limited, which is the sponsor of the prestigious literary competition, team up to organize a book party for the long-listed candidates of the literary prize. Terra Culture of Victoria Island, Lagos was the venue for this recently held 2018 edition. Call them the semi finalists or the last 11 standing, and you'll be right. Well, I'm quite elated, very elated, uh, considering the fact that I've been writing since I was 14 years old. In fact, this very work was written when I was 29, and uh, that was in 1984. And I, I've written 15, 20 other books, works since then. Uh, some are published, some are still unpublished. Well, I feel validated. You know, when you enter for this kind of a prize and your book is selected out of a whole lot of books, you have a sense of validation that uh, some people out there are really, they've really been affected or they've, they've uh, seen some merit in what you've written. So I feel validated and I'm happy about it. Honestly, it, the news, the announcement of the long list came to me as a big surprise uh, because uh, I actually entered my second work, um, Fairway to a Virus of Anomie, in 2014. And I didn't hear anything from NLFG apart from the acknowledgement of the submission of the entry. So on the July 27 this year, I just went to a WhatsApp page and I saw the long list. I was excited. Uh, being the combination of almost 30 years of writing experience in drama. It's really a great honor to be long listed. Uh, it shows that your work is being appreciated and that uh, many people get to read it, which is the big thing. And if the money comes, we are grateful and we'll write more. Yeah, I feel happy. At least it shows that people are reading us. When I, in 2010, I submitted for the LNG Prize with my first play, it was not long listed. I was also, but I was invited. I was happy that I was invited to the book party like this. But now I'm long listed. I'm a participant in the long list, so it's a thing of joy and I'm happy. Personally, I want to doff my heart to NLNG for supporting literature in Nigeria. Not just one genre of literature. When they started, they picked on, they picked on the four genres. And each year, the genres rotate, you know, uh, the, the, the prize rotates amongst the four genres. It's a good thing to have come to the literary arts world in Nigeria. And we are grateful to them. And I hope that uh, in the nearest future, they will expand their horizon and um, expand the course for the prizes. It's tagged a party after all, so fun mixed with literature on the day. The idea of the Cora NLNG Book Party is to create an opportunity for members of the public to get familiar with the 11 books and writers long listed. The Book Party is a way of ensuring that there is a robust audience engagement with the books that have been long listed for this award. The drama piece that makes it the last 11 out of 83 entries is worthy of acknowledgement. In 2018, the application process will still be going on 
of drama. So this is just one of the last stages. And as usual, in the tradition, we are taking time out today to celebrate these works of our writers. No more. We are doing this for quite some time, and the reason why we are doing it is we are looking for a platform to ensure that what is done and how it's done is done in such a way that Nigerians are, of course, the entire world is fully involved in works that will eventually become the big work of the year. This is democracy. I thought this nonsense was done with the military rule. Hey, 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 Mr. Ma, listen! This year's genre focus of the prize is drama, and this was obvious at the book party as artists dramatize the shortlisted pieces. Can you deny me my access to the lawyer? You are not in position to accuse the police. Sir, what is the point of your anger? I am the one handcuffs. You are not acting like the one under arrest. You are interrogating me. <laughs> your foolishness will destroy you. I am not foolish. Oh, yes, you are. Look at this. On the 26th of July, you said, you sent this on Twitter. Mr. President thinks that cows are sacred. He thinks that a cow is greater than a village. That is why headsmen are above the law. Is that not your tweet? The high point was the engagement with the long-listed writers. When we're writing, you find that our, our, our especially plays, it boils down to the fact that African setting can best be described in the traditional aspect. It can best be described usually it, when, you, when you have a play and you are talking about uh, a palace. The first point that comes to your mind is that it's Africa. And by this we, we find out that most of our playwrights, especially even me, let me put, I, I have come to the understanding that the, the palace is the central point of African tradition. The problem is most of us as writers are not policy makers. We are not politicians. Our voices are very lean. The only way to transmit our voices to the majority is through what we write. And we felt that uh, writing about such uh, social issues actually will be able to convey some of our voices to even the policy makers and the politicians. And what we need to understand is that it's not even playwrights alone or playwriters alone. Writers, as they move, they are constantly, either internally or even externally, responding and reflecting upon things that are happening around them. Now, why we don't see these things every day is because writing is not easy. From the 11, three will be shortlisted and then on to three. The best will be selected to take home the title of the 2018 Nigeria Prize for Literature winner and about 35 million naira. Literary prizes hardly come bigger than that.